So let's try to fix your VLOOKUP formula. Now the most common problem with VLOOKUP is actually to do with spelling. We've got our example here and we're looking up this value uh, over in this table over here using VLOOKUP, everything working at the, at the moment. But any spelling mistake in the lookup value, I'm just going to make a quick adjustment here, you can see the formula uh, is going to return an error. Equally, any spelling mistakes in the database, just make a quick adjustment here, the formula is going to return an error. The spelling has to be 100% accurate, and that includes the classic space after a name mistake, which is so difficult to spot. If we have a space, you can see I've put a space in there after Paul, then again, the formula is going to return an error. So the spelling has to be 100% accurate. Check for those spaces after the names. This accounts for over half of problems with VLOOKUP in my experience. Let's look, move on to point two, a lack of absolute references in the table reference. What does this refer to? Well, it's common when we're using VLOOKUP to want to paste the formula down or just autofill the formula down like this. What people often find is the first one works and then as we go down, the formula don't work anymore. So what is causing that? Well, it's to do with a lack of absolute references. We can see in this formula, we don't have any dollar signs at the top, so we're using rel uh, relative references. If we paste the formula down, those references are going to move. So in the first formula, the reference, the table reference is accurate. And then as we go down, we can see that table reference moving down because they're relative references. So we want to avoid that using absolute references. That means the dollar signs, which I'm sure you would have seen in Excel. So if you're on a PC, just use the F4 key to put those dollar signs in. If not, you can manually put those dollar signs in. We've now got an absolute reference. So if we auto fill down now, what we'll see is all of the formulae are accurate. They're accurate because we've used absolute references. No matter, no, no matter how far down we go with the formula, we're still going to refer to the table because of our absolute references. So that's the second point. Make sure you're using absolute references. The third point, not referencing the furthest left column. What does this mean? Well, our lookup value has to be in the leftmost column of the table that we reference. So at the moment, we're doing fine because the value we're looking up, in this case, a name, John or Paul, something like that, is in the leftmost column of the table. A very common mistake is to do something like this. So the table reference includes another column, a column that doesn't contain the lookup value. So what happens now? We're gonna see we've got an error again. I'll just clear out these formally. We can see we've got an error again. If we look at the table reference, we can see that those names are not in the leftmost column of the table. This is causing uh, the error. So what do you have to do? Well, make sure the table, the table reference, the leftmost column contains those values that you are looking up. So this is the fir third thing for us to look out for uh, with VLOOKUP. Fourth, the lookup column is outside of the table range. What does this mean? Well, with our current formula, we've got two columns in the table range. Suppose I wanted to look at this late column rather than looking at the grade that we're currently using. Suppose I wanted to get the late's information. Well, I could just change the column reference, couldn't I? Let's just change it to three because it's one column further across. Let's see what happens here. We can see we've got a ref error here. That's because, well, our table reference consists of one two columns. But we've asked Excel to look in column three. So it's saying, well, there isn't a column three in the table reference you've given me. So this is an example of the column reference being outside of the table reference. How do we fix that? Well, if you're going to use a number three as the column reference, then the table reference has to be one, two, three columns wide at least. So now we can see the formula working well. Just to prove that, let's put George in here and I should have George, George's late return. And, and you can see George has one late there. So that's our fourth point. And with those, you're going to resolve most errors with VLOOKUP. And the fifth one is more complicated, a lack of understanding of approximate match. Now, often with VLOOKUP, I see, see people omitting the last part of the formula this part here. So what does it actually mean? Well, it says range lookup and we have approximate or exact match. Now, most of the time 
people should be using exact match because they're using text and they're looking to match some text into a database. So include this. Even if you don't include this, the formula usually works, but you should include it for completeness to make things clear to Excel, to make things clear in your own mind as well. So most of the time we're looking for an exact match. So we'd, we'd set this to false, which is zero. So make sure you include this or you can just type in false. So what is approximate match? Well, if we're using text, it's unlikely we're going to want approximate match. Approximate match helps us where we're using numbers and ranges of numbers. And I've got in the explainer file here, the link is below uh, this video to look at this explainer file. You can see how it works. So if you have values in a column and you use approximate match, you can see true is the last component of the formula here. Excel is going to make ranges from the value that you give it in the first column. You can see the ranges defined here. And then the value that it's looking up, in this case, we're looking up the value in G3. The value that it's looking up, it's going to fit into one of those ranges and return the value from that row. So to get to know uh, this approximate match idea, I recommend downloading this file, hitting the F9, hit, hitting the F9 key, you'll see new look lookup values generated you look at values being generated there and you can see how they fit into the table. 8.52 is more than or equal to five and less than 10. But you only need this if this is what you're trying to do. You're looking to match a number into a range of numbers. That's the only case in which you'll need, um, in which you'll need an approximate match. Most of the time, we should be setting this last component to false because we're looking for an exact match. An example of that is if we're using text. Okay, so that's the end uh, of this video. Really hope we managed to solve your problems uh, with VLOOKUP. I'll put another video up going into a bit more depth about this. So if you watch that video, you'll be able to learn more of the theory. You should be able to avoid your problems with VLOOKUP. I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I'd love it if you checked out some of the other videos on the channel. I'd love to help you uh, with your Excel learning. So hopefully see you in another video on the channel.